hello guys welcome back to the next video in this video we're going to solve question number 13 from the ISC 2023 question paper for accountancy if you have missed out the previous videos do check out the entire playlist from the description box below and if you don't want to miss out any future videos then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon this is a sum on cash flow and we have some of the things to be taken care of in this sum when we are preparing this and if you are clear with the concepts then only you can do it correctly let's get started this is in the books of hoopla limited and we have the information given instead of a balance sheet we have the information given in the form of statements one by one let's pick up one by one and plot them where they are supposed to go like the first one that we have the profit before considering dividend and tax but after taking into account the following items so this is your profit before tax straight away okay so this is a different way of giving it out in the question since this is already considered like dividend and tax are already considered we don't have to add them back and these are after taking into consideration these amounts which we will adjust in the cash flow itself so straight away 15 lakh 80 thousand becomes my net profit before tax okay net profit before tax and extraordinary items the next item that we have depreciation on property plant and equipment so we mentioned that here straight away PPNE we can write in short however try to write the full form in the exam property plant and equipment we have 5 lakh 50 thousand this one is done second one interest payable on bank loan and this is one of the trick parts now see interest payable is given as 3 lakh 80 and if you see here interest paid is 3 lakh that means 30 80 thousand of it are still outstanding which is not paid yet right so now interest payable since we follow accrual method of accounting in the PL account we had debited the entire 3 lakh 80 thousand that is what we have to add back okay so don't be confused whatever we have debited to the PL account gets added back here that's the entire concept okay so this is done interest paid on bank loan it comes to the financing activity straightforward as 3 lakhs interest paid on bank loan this will be 3 lakhs as your outflow okay then we have number C profit on sale of investments the book value of which was 2 lakh 20 and we have made a profit of 1 lakh okay straight away that's given so that is subtracted here so that goes here 1 lakh okay next item during the year we have these information given to us like the company paid tax which was proposed the previous year 4 lakh 40 so tax paid we have 4 lakh 40 thousand okay issued 66 thousand equity shares of 10 each we have 6 lakh 60 thousand again straight away proceeds from issue of shares which is part of my financing activity we have a positive of 6 lakh 60 thousand straightforward repaid bank loan this is an outflow of 15 lakhs which is also part of financing activity payment of bank loan 15 lakhs we write it in the brackets as an outflow all right interest we have done paid dividend of 5 lakhs that's also an outflow as a part of financing activity so that comes here as well outflow of 5 lakhs then we have trade payables decreased by 10,000 okay so that is one of the activities items under decrease in current liabilities here so that we mention as 10,000 straight away 
we can mention that in the outer column okay this one is done as well then we have the cash and cash equivalents it increased from 60,000 to 7 lakhs that means we have the opening and the closing cash balances that sits here this one add opening cash and cash equivalents we write here 60,000 and the closing one 7 lakhs we should get that as an answer to our calculation we have plotted all of them now let's start doing the calculation let's do it one by one so here if we do the final calculation here this is 1 lakh which will be subtracted so we can write that in brackets so what do we get here this one and since this is a negative figure we will add 24 lakh 10,000 is what we are getting here then again we have to subtract this 10,000 so operating profit before working capital changes is 24 lakh 10,000 less tax paid so the final answer that we get as a cash flow from operating activities is 19 lakh 60,000 okay that's the answer for cash flow from operating activities investing activities we have the sale of investments right now if you see here profit on sale of investments the book value of which was 2 lakh 10 and we have made a profit of 1 lakh that means we have sold the investments for how much a simple math we have to do which is 2 lakh 20 plus 1 lakh which is 3 lakh 20 right and this is a positive figure because we have sold it we it's an inflow okay so this comes here as cash flow from investing activities 3 lakh 20 this is also important to note all the points that we have then let's do the calculation for financing activity which is the summation of all these amounts that we have where we have a negative that means cash outflow of 16 lakh 40 thousand so let's quickly add all these three figures that we have and let's see how much do we get we get six lakhs forty thousand as our net increase in cash and cash equivalents during the year to that we will add sixty thousand the opening cash balance and we get seven lakhs as our closing cash and cash equivalents which tallies with our answer given in the question this is the cash flow that we have as a part of this sum it's important you understand the entire flow of it so that it becomes easy for you to plot these items as you progress hope this was helpful and made things easy for you to understand at a concept level hit the like button if it did do share with your friends as well and we'll catch you all in the next video with the next set of sums that we have stay tuned for more thanks for watching